Here's how to get your PS4 controller properly functioning on PC between Steam and non-Steam games. Windows 10 doesn't recognize the device naturally as a PS4 controller. It just sees it as a wireless controller. It seems to interpret it as an Xbox 360 controller. Ultimately, no big deal, but if you want better functionality within Steam, you need to go into the controller settings, check the box for PS4 support. That's only going to work if the screen shows Steam detecting that a PS4 controller is connected. If the window doesn't show any detected controllers, then you may need to go into your device manager and enable it. But before we go there, just as a basic troubleshooting step, unplug the controller from USB, plug it right back in. You should at least see the light bar flash in orangish color, which may stay on, may fade out, doesn't matter. Now that you see that there's electricity getting to the controller from the PC, because you see the light come on, go into the device manager, human interface devices, you should see an entry for HID compliant game controller. Right click on that, set to enable. If you go back into that Steam window for controller settings, you should see that it's detecting your controller and that it's detecting it to be PS4. Ensure that the PS4 support box is checked. Hit escape on your keyboard, don't worry. Escape does not cancel what you just did in this case. It's just easier to hit the escape key here than to try to click on the OK button at the bottom of the settings screen. Now, you should have a lighter blue light bar on your controller. That's the default, but you can change it to whatever color you want in the settings. And everything should work correctly in Steam. Great. But what if you want to play a non-Steam game? What if you want to play Star Citizen, for example? This is where you need a separate app to operate the PS4 controller.